Three, two, one, and then drop the ready. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say! Okay. Yeah, guys, right, wait one more. This is one of the most uh, random videos I've ever done in a beta, but this is a beta. <laughs> Tom Star phoned me, he said, Dwayne, what are you doing? I said, I'm not doing too much, what are you up to? He said, I'm going to record some sound with kids and we're going to make a track. So here we are in the beautiful north of the island with a bit of a kids club recording sounds, chickens. <laughs> It's mad. What are you doing today, Tom? Recording animal noises and making a tune out of them. Everybody needs to be very quiet. Everybody, be, listen, boys, girls. Everyone listen. needs to be very Look quiet. We're going to do it. We're recording our sound. Yeah, everyone needs to be, be very quiet. quiet. Okay, so yeah. everybody be silent. Right, right. Everyone else quiet, everyone else quiet. Everybody quiet. Oh, Even better. That's really good, Luca. Okay, right. You ready? Well, okay, three, two, one, and then drop the ready. <laughs> you, didn't, you didn't say! Okay. Yeah, guys, right. Wait one gonna, more time. I'm going to do the same Tom thing. Says one, then we drop them, I'm okay? I'm going to do the same thing again now. Ready? Three, two, one. So, as I mentioned, this was one of the most random days. I'm here with Anne Marie, has just brought what's going on. Hi, so today we are making a track um, out of nature songs. So, the idea is that every time someone comes into a child of the wild, they bring an energy with them of creation. So, we connect nature with creative activities for children. Yeah, and what is Child of the Wild? So, Child of the Wild started um, out of a book, actually. I wrote a children's book. Okay. So, the book started with me um, with an imagination to bring children back to their freedom and their freedom in nature. Yeah. At the moment, we're seeing a lot of children attached to technology, lots of things happening to them, to their brain, you know, lots of depression, and anxiety, all that really heavy stuff. So, I created a brand so that children could step back into nature and let go of all the problems yeah and it's going really well and this weirdly has been really enjoyable obviously yeah. i mentioned before i love this area yeah um i come here quite often yeah but i mean how did it, like that it started but where, so where how did you it started from a book so i wrote a children's book yeah um, and that really randomly came to me through nature i go i do a lot of walking that's where all my creative yeah, yeah. ideas come from so um, this story is a very special story about children re reconnecting with their freedom yeah. and that's a really important thing for children now and from that book I did a lot of research into children's mental health yeah. and I, then I understood that there was no real capacity here for children to have these con connecting nature activities yeah, yeah. so that's where it came from and the power in this is the community so people like you coming yeah, yeah. Uh, people like Tom coming today every, there's someone comes in on most days even that are connecting cat, even my yeah. cat yeah <laughs> Um, someone comes in on most days to connect the children to nature in various different ways. Artists, DJs, creators, um, oceanographers, forestry commission. Yeah, yeah. So we've had different people from the community hold the children in a very specific, different way every time. So not only they're being educated and they're having these creative experiences, but they're in nature and they're learning and they're having fun. It's funny you say that because I'm sure many people will agree. I, I've suffered from anxiety through the YouTube sector yeah. where people recognize me and it's something different. Yeah. But do you know what I found? Funny enough, you said it about two hours ago. I was waiting for Tom to pick me up, yeah. and I was sitting in the cafe, and there was three kids from the yeah. same family, just glued next to the beach, glued to their iPhones next to the beach, yeah. and I was just like, they didn't exactly. say a word the whole time. I think that's our society now, and I think that's what we have to be conscious about. That's why I'm making this space, which in the 70s children play outside. That's what they used to do. Now they spend half the amount of time they used to in the 70s than they do now, yeah. and they're all inside. So. It's a, this, my group, is one of those ways that can make them be back outside yeah. and connect with nature and the wild. And in turn, they connect with themselves. So it's like a duality. So they find themselves, they connect with themselves. Yeah, they're yeah. happier because they're disconnected. Fair and play. they have these wild places to play. Well done. And we do live in an amazing space. Should it is a really cool place to Should to we go and watch this master <laughs> make this track? This should, yes. be, should be interesting. I'm really excited to see what it's happens. It's funny you say that. I, I grew up in a... A housing estate in Ireland and yeah. the minute the minute we could go out the door until my mum was screaming to get me back in. Sorry exactly. mum. Um No, but know. we used to me too, we used to play out all day. I'm forty one, so we used to play out. We used to go outside and we'd come back when it got dark. Yeah. Now children are so hyper connected, they're not 
it's a different world for them. Yeah, yeah. And it's a lot of pressure on them as well. They see and view a lot of things I think are too old for their brains to handle. Yeah, yeah. So that's where the anxiety and the depression comes in. They're relating themselves to what they think they should be doing instead of being who they are. Yeah, yeah. So being in the wild, it takes that all away. I've seen children come in, they're stressed, they're anxious, their shoulders are high. Well, what you're funny within, you said that one of the yeah. lads said to me, he was quite worried about yeah. the loud music. And I was like, well, oh, really? Yeah. Like, Don't worry, we're not we're yeah. not going to play loud music. So. And they have to... They looked a bit worried about that. Yeah, and they are. They, they have... They overthink things, I think. We had that simplicity growing up and they've they've been hyper-connected from the moment they're born. There's something digital for them to be like that, you know? And it's a lot It's a lot of them working fast with their brains to handle it all. Yeah, yeah. So being back in the wild, it takes it all away. And you see them relax within 15 minutes, they're totally different. Perfect. We'll go and see this man now. Yes. What, what are we doing here? Because so this recorded, is the most recorded. random video I've oh, that's ever amazing. done. So recorded all these sounds that the kids have done on my phone on this new program called Live, which is by XL, XLN Audio. And then when I record them on my phone on the app, the sounds go straight to the computer. So we've got the sound in my computer now that recorded. But I've, this is the first time I've used this, so I've just got to work out how to use it properly. And then we're gonna make a track out of the sound with the kids. And have you ever made music before? A couple of times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so while Tom gets hang of the system, I thought I'd take a little walk up to this chapel. It's a bit hotter than expected. Tom's a genius. Uh, for those that don't know who Tom is, Tom's one of the biggest music producers in the world. He works with all the major acts over the last, I don't even know, since he was about 17, I think. And yeah, you can see we're in the beautiful north. Peace and quiet. Just outside Cala Vicente. I'm gonna regret this walk. But I think this is the beautiful thing in my life in Ibiza that you never know what's going to happen. There's just so many random text messages. And uh, Tom was telling me he was doing this. We so said, why don't you come up and check it out? So I was doing nothing else today. And within time, I'll be back in the studio with Tom and some really uh, big artists. But yeah, I just wanted to show you a little bit more to Ibiza because I know this video probably won't appeal to everyone but somebody will uh, will enjoy it. It's pretty cool what they are doing down there as well because it is so true. Kids nowadays just... I'm so glad I grew up at the very end of the 90s. We did the dropping rocks, look, I got the dropping rocks. The dropping rocks were here, look. So hang on a minute, let me show you what, this, what we recorded and I'll show you what I did with it. So this was the sound of the dropping rocks. Here. That, that's the sound. That, but I made it into, I used it to this bit, look. So I just took that bit of it. Oh, you need that So, yeah. just that bit, look. Like a bit of a and then, yeah, then I put, did the stompy bit on top. And then, dolphin. And then wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> And then you've got, what else have we got? We've got chickens. Still got the chickens to come in. Chickens are here a lot. <laughs> so have you worked out how to use it? I think so, yeah. Well, it works how, how to use it well enough to do what I'm trying to do, basically. Just very basically, so. See what happens. Stomping that you guys did. Listen, this is the stomping. That's all you do. Making noises. Okay. So we've turned that into this. 
That's what you guys stomping. Wow. Yeah, hear it. Then we've got the stone noise that you made. Do you want to drop the stones? Yeah. Which is this. Listen. That's the stones dropping, isn't it? Really cool. All the stones. So we've got that in as well now. So I'll put that in. And then we've got the chicken noise. This was the chicken noise, look. Chicken Listen. Noise. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Got That's it. the chicken noise, yeah. Can you hear that again? Yeah, Listen. Yeah, can hear it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Got so it. the chicken noise, we'll use that one next. Okay. So then we've got Ruben's dolphin noise. Let me turn the chickens off. We've got Ruben's dolphin. <laughs> Right, 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 right. And the chicken noise at the same time. Okay, then we've got, we've got, we've got Amory going, look, 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 we've got Amory going, wait, 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 wait. Listen. Listen, wait a minute. Then we've got, do you, remember, do you remember the football getting kicked? Listen to this. Listen, listen, this is the sound of the football getting kicked and it hitting the crossbar, look. So that's it. Wow. Right? So we've got the foot we've got the football, we've got them two sounds on their own now. So we've got the football getting kicked. So let's play the play what we had and I'll put the football in on top. So wait a minute. Are right, you ready? And we've also got the cross, you know the sound of the crossbar, it hit the crossbar, that's this lot. Right, wait a minute. singing we like this one Ready? Yeah, so let's put these little bits in That. Oh, amazing! That was, I was actually astounded at by how quick that Tom has been able to pull that together. Yeah. He's used a whole new series, a whole new product. He's learnt it and recorded the track <laughs> in about an hour and a half. Yeah. It's and, incredible. And are you going to use that chicken sound again? Definitely, mate. It sounds amazing. Is that a chicken? What else would we have? A chicken, a dolphin, a ball kicking, stone dropping, meeting. Oh, shit, no, we've got UK. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Children singing. Yeah, I've got kids singing. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 